In the realm of technology, ethical hacking has become an essential skill. It helps protect systems and data from malicious attacks. However, ethical hacking requires responsibility. It's crucial to use these skills legally and ethically. Unethical hacking can lead to severe consequences, including legal action. Always remember to hack only with permission. This means you need explicit consent from the owner of the system you are testing. Unauthorized hacking is illegal. It's crucial to respect privacy and follow the law. Ethical hacking should aim to improve security, not exploit it. In this essay, we will explore how to start ethical hacking using just your phone. We'll cover beginner-friendly steps and essential guidelines. It's important to understand that ethical hacking is not about causing harm. It's about protecting data and systems from threats. Ethical hacking plays a vital role in cybersecurity. It helps identify and fix vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them. This proactive approach can save companies and individuals from data breaches and financial losses. By learning ethical hacking, you contribute to a safer internet. You help organizations strengthen their defenses. This, in turn, protects users' sensitive information. Ethical hackers are often seen as the digital guardians of the cyber world. Ethical hacking also offers numerous career opportunities. As cyber threats continue to evolve, the demand for skilled ethical hackers grows. This makes it a promising field for those interested in technology and security. In addition to career opportunities, ethical hacking enhances your technical skills. It provides a deeper understanding of how systems and networks operate. This knowledge is invaluable in various IT roles, from network administration to software development. For those serious about mastering ethical hacking, subscribing to educational resources is crucial. One such resource is the Ministry of Hacking. They offer comprehensive guides, tutorials, and the latest news in cybersecurity. The Ministry of Hacking provides valuable content for beginners and advanced users. You'll find step-by-step -step instructions, video tutorials, and expert advice. This makes learning ethical hacking more accessible and engaging. By subscribing, you stay updated with the latest hacking techniques and security trends. This continuous learning is essential in the ever-evolving field of cybersecurity. The Ministry of Hacking ensures you have the knowledge to tackle new challenges. Furthermore, the Ministry of Hacking community is a great place to connect with like-minded individuals. You can share experiences, ask questions, and learn from others. This network can be incredibly supportive and motivating as you embark on your ethical hacking journey. Starting ethical hacking with just your phone is easier than you might think. Modern smartphones are powerful tools. They can run various hacking applications and perform complex tasks. Here's how to get started. First, ensure your phone is updated to the latest version of its operating system. This enhances security and compatibility with hacking apps. Next, choose a reliable mobile device that meets your needs. Both Android and iOS devices have their advantages and limitations. Second, familiarize yourself with your phone's settings and functionalities. Understanding your device is crucial before diving into ethical hacking. Spend time exploring its features, security options, and connectivity settings. Third, install a secure and reputable application store. For Android users, the Google Play Store is recommended. For iOS users, the Apple App Store is preferred. Avoid downloading apps from untrusted sources as they may contain malware. Finally, ensure your phone has adequate storage and processing power. Ethical hacking can be resource intensive. Having a device with sufficient capacity ensures smooth operation and better performance. Basic tools and apps. Several tools and apps can transform your phone into an ethical hacking powerhouse. These applications help identify vulnerabilities, test networks, and improve security. Here are some essential tools to get you started. One popular tool is Termux. It's a powerful terminal emulator for Android. Termux allows you to run Linux commands and install various hacking tools. It's user-friendly and highly customizable, making it ideal for beginners. Another useful app is Fing. Fing helps you analyze and troubleshoot your network. It can detect devices connected to your Wi-Fi, identify potential threats, and provide detailed network information. It's available for both Android and iOS. NetHunter is another robust tool for ethical hackers. Developed by Offensive Security, NetHunter is a penetration testing platform for Android. It offers a wide range of features, including wireless attacks, USB attacks, and more. However, it requires a rooted device. Additionally, consider using Hackode. Hackode is an Android app suite that provides various tools for ethical hacking. It includes reconnaissance, scanning, and exploitation tools. It's perfect for beginners looking to explore different aspects of ethical hacking.
Conducting your first ethical hack. Conducting your first ethical hack can be exciting. Start with something simple, like testing your home Wi-Fi network. This provides a safe environment to practice without legal risks. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. First, use Fing to scan your Wi-Fi network. Identify all connected devices and check for any unauthorized access. This helps you understand your network's current security status. Note any unfamiliar devices for further investigation. Second, use NetHunter or another app to test your network's vulnerabilities. Look for weak passwords, open ports, and outdated firmware. Document your findings and consider ways to improve your network security. Third, try using Termux to run basic penetration tests. Learn to use tools like Nmap for network scanning and Hydra for password cracking. Practice these skills in a controlled environment, like a test network you've set up. Finally, always document your process and findings. Keeping detailed records is essential in ethical hacking. It helps you track your progress, understand your results, and share insights with others. Safety and ethical guidelines. Safety and ethics are paramount in ethical hacking. Always prioritize the security and privacy of others. Here are some important guidelines to follow. First, obtain explicit permission before hacking any system. Unauthorized hacking is illegal and unethical. Always ensure you have written consent from the system owner. This protects you legally and demonstrates professional integrity. Second, respect privacy. Do not access, modify, or delete data without permission. Your goal is to identify and fix vulnerabilities, not to exploit them. Treat all data responsibly and confidentially. Third, report your findings responsibly. Once you've identified vulnerabilities, share them with the system owner. Provide detailed recommendations for improving security. Avoid disclosing vulnerabilities publicly without the owner's consent. Finally, stay updated with ethical hacking standards and laws. Cybersecurity is a dynamic field and regulations can change. Continuous learning helps you stay compliant and effective in your ethical hacking practices. The role of data privacy. Data privacy is a cornerstone of ethical hacking. Protecting personal information is crucial in building trust and ensuring security. Here's why data privacy matters in ethical hacking. First, data breaches can have severe consequences. They can lead to financial loss, identity theft, and reputational damage. Ethical hackers help prevent these breaches by securing systems and protecting data. Second, respecting data privacy builds trust with clients and users. When people know their data is safe, they are more likely to engage with your services. Ethical hacking fosters a culture of security and privacy. Third, legal compliance is essential. Many countries have strict data protection laws such as GDPR in Europe. Ethical hackers must ensure their practices comply with these regulations. This reduces legal risks and enhances credibility. Finally, data privacy is a moral responsibility. Ethical hackers must act with integrity and respect for individuals' rights. This ethical approach ensures the positive impact of your hacking activities. Conclusion and Encouragement Starting ethical hacking with just your phone is an exciting journey. It empowers you to protect data and systems from cyber threats. By following ethical guidelines, you contribute to a safer digital world. Remember, ethical hacking requires continuous learning and practice. Stay updated with the latest tools, techniques, and trends. Subscribe to resources like the Ministry of Hacking for valuable insights and community support. Stay positive and patient. Ethical hacking can be challenging, but persistence pays off. Celebrate your progress, learn from your mistakes, and keep improving. With dedication, you can become a skilled ethical hacker. Finally, always use your skills for good. Ethical hacking is about making the cyber world safer for everyone. Embrace this responsibility and enjoy the journey. Happy hacking.